Hey there, Turtle Academy friends. Ah, I have got Turtle Academy lesson four for you. You can get to it, of course, by visiting TurtleAcademy.com and then make sure you sign in with your Google, Google account like I've shown you before. Once you sign in, launch our program where it had logo and our initials on it, and you will see all your core code that you had created. We are going to change that code. Uh, and add some new cool things. The first thing I'd like you to teach you how to create is a circle. Uh, when you type circle, press enter. When you type circle up on that first line, we are going to put the variable r, which is going to stand for the radius. And then to create a circle, I simply want you to type arc, and then the arc has to go 360 degrees, and then it's going to use that variable r to determine how far this circle uh, has for its radius. Type end and let's go down to where we try our code and let's add the code CS enter and let's do circle and let's type 20 after it. When we update our code it gets stored and when we run our code you can see we made a nifty circle. If you want more circles on the screen you can simply type it again with a different number. Update, tell it OK, and run it, and voila, you've got two circles on your screen. Super handy tool that you can use again and again and again as you build many epic shapes. Let's click after end and let's make another very special word and learn a new command. So the command is going to be called XY and it's going to have a colon with an X connected to it and then a space and then a colon and a Y. It's real important to make sure you've spaced those out, otherwise it will cause an error. And then the command we're gonna use is set X, Y with a colon X and a colon Y. What makes this magical though, is in front of it, we are gonna put the pen up command. That way the turtle will move to a new location. I'm gonna add the two spaces to uh, make that arranged a little prettier. And when it gets to the location, we're going to put the pen down, and then we're going to type end. This allows us to magically move around the screen in one step without accidentally forgetting to put the pen up or getting all the way out there and forgetting to put the pen down. Let's try it real quickly by putting XY in front of our first circle, and let's make it go 100 over and 25 up. And let's take our second circle and make it go XY and let's have it go negative 75 and let's have it go negative 30. When you hit update, tell it OK and select run, your circles will now have moved around the screen. If you remember we had a house, let's clear this and type house, update our code and check out how the code looks. Hey, that house is pretty sweet, but wouldn't it be cool if you had a sun? Hopefully you're thinking, what shape is a sun? Well, this is where we put the two tools together. First, we're going to type two sun. Then we're going to do x, y, and I want my sun to be negative 134, 76 high. I'm just picking that out of my head. Uh, you can pick your own cool numbers. And then I'm going to do a circle with a size 30 radius. I'm going to put pen up, home, pen down, because remember, we always add that to our words, and I'm going to put end. I have now created a neat sun. I can run it like this by doing update and telling it OK and running it. If I like where it is, then I can go up to house, and I can automate sun by putting it after the word wind. Even though I automated it, I'm going to make it go a little further over. I'm going to make it go 234 over. And I want the sun to be higher in the sky, so I'm going to try 175. I'm going to delete the old sun word because now it's built into house. I'm going to hit update, tell it OK, and let's hit run and check out how it looks now that I've adjusted it. Notice it overlaps a little, but this is what's so neat. You can just change your numbers, update, tell it OK, run it again, and pat yourself on the back for having an epic house with a sun. In an effort to give you even more cool building blocks, let's make a word called to wreck. 
with the rectangle we need the length so we're going to do a colon or a variable for the length and a colon and a w for the variable the width i made them capital so it's easier for you to see but it's not anything mandatory to make a rectangle we can use the amazing repeat command and repeat twice this command in the simple brackets here forward colon l where you hold down shift and do your colon l and then we do right 90 degrees and then forward colon w and also do right 90 degrees you must close the brackets that is a common error i see and then i always demand that we finish with pin up home pin down and add your n with your rec created let's scroll down and let's test it by putting our cs and changing it to be rec with numbers and I'm going to do 20 and I'm going to do 90 so I'm just picking fun numbers update your code tell it okay and let's run it to see the cool little rectangle appear hopefully you note that a rectangle would make a sweet garage because I'm going to help you make a garage quickly on your screen first let's draw our house and then let's use the XY command and our house starts at 0, 0. Let's go 130 over and 0 high. And let's do a rectangle that is 70 high and 100 wide. When we update our code, tell it OK and run it, we've now got an amazing house and a rectangle that's going to be our garage. Let's make that code so that it stays. Uh, you can adjust your numbers, of course, if you want. So we're going to type to garage. And then in garage, we're going to take that, take that same set XY. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to put end. And then I'm going to say I want house to run. And I want garage to run. Because I'm feeling pretty advanced, I want a garage door. So I'm going to really quickly add another garage or another XY command. I'm going to tell it 135 over and I'm going to tell it 0 over. So all I did was move 5 more and then think about it. What shape is a garage door? It is also a rectangle. Uh, I don't want to go 70 high. I'm going to go 50 high. And I'm going to only make mine 35 wide. When I do update, OK, OK, and run the code, I have now got an amazing garage with a garage door. I am going to challenge you to figure out how to make another line so that your garage door has a second door. Or you could put little rectangle windows on it. But I'm going to trust you to come up with that cool code. The last piece of this code I'm going to give you for the garage is to scroll up to the word house and make it so that garage is built in. Because it's fun when we hit CS house and all of our project shows up. Continuing with our adjustable commands, I need you to make another command called two and we're going to call it try two. It is going to have a variable colon B for the base and a variable colon L for the length of the sides. The commands that we need to type are right 90 forward colon B. On the next line, I want you to do left 135 forward colon L. And then I need you to do left 90 and forward colon L again. This gives you uh, three sides for your shape, and then we end with pen up, home, pen down. And then we need to have an end. Try to is kind of fancy in that we have to guess and test with it. So here I'm going to put CS and I'm going to do try to. And uh, let's say, well, actually, we know I made a size 100 barn. So to try and put a roof on it, we put in the base number, which is 100. And then we've got to guess the right number for the sides. I'm going to test try to with 150. When I tell it OK and run it, you'll notice that it does not make it to the edge. So 50 was too small. I'm going to try 60. I'm going to update it. And I'm going to run it. 
Ooh, it was closer. I'm going to try 70. Update. Tell it OK and run to find the perfect number. That is how try to works. Since we've got our beautiful triangle, we can now uh, bring in our house program again. And we can put that triangle up on top of the garage. This time we're going to do XY again. And to put the triangle on, we want to put the left corner at the same corner that the garage was built. But we want to put it at the same height that our garage was built. Which we can tell from our 70 up. 100 over. And then, remember we learned the code a minute ago? Try 2. We know it is a size 100 base because that's the number for the uh, size of our garage. And then we found the uh, exact right number was try 2. When we do update and tell it OK, at this point when we run it, our amazing house has a garage and a triangle and a couple of doors. Uh, thank you for following lesson four of the Turtle Academy lessons, and I hope you had fun. Keep making cool things, and check back for more lessons in the days to come.